giving all praise to Yahweh, Basim Yahushai, Bahashem Rakahakwadas. Double honors as always to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the bishops, Waza Kwanyam, who rule and teach the lambs well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Bayat Shah which is the house of David the elect, beginning with 144,000, the men of the Lord, his servants, the prophets, who were singing a new song on the highways and byways throughout the four corners of the earth, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Yasharallah, on down to all those among Yasharallah who have believed a report, the men, women, children, believers, the friends and helps of the prophets. They too will be delivered out of this coming destruction, and that's what's coming to America, aka Babylon, the great, the virgin daughter of Babylon, complete and total destruction which is going to be compliments of the intercontinental ballistic missiles and the chariots of the Heavenly Father. Today is uh, Tuesday, June the 12th, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And um, this is actually old news now. I mean, this story broke, I guess, in the afternoon yesterday. All right, this is off the New York Post. Coast Guard Navy tracked Russian ships on long-distance missions sailing near Florida en route to Cuba. Okay, so you know what? Uh, Russia is sick and tired of uh, NATO, right? The beast, okay, creeping closer and closer to their border with, with missiles. So they're making a statement. And they're making it, making it loud and clear. All right, that they're sick and tired of of, of uh, Babylon's bullshit. Okay, and and you know, the nations of the earth are starting to figure out that the cancer in this earth, all right, is America. All right, and um, when was it? About six days ago. Now I guess Putin declared the U.S. an enemy state. All right, so this thing is is about to about to uh, explode over there, man. All right. A flotilla of Russian warships passed within hailing distance of Florida's eastern coastline Tuesday with the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard following uh, it's like it close behind according to open source maritime and air tracking information. The Coast Guard Cutterstone Navy guided missile destroyers USS uh, Truxton and USS Donald Cook and the Royal Canadian Navy Frigate HMCS Ville de Quebec sailed after four Russian vessels reportedly heading to Cuba, according to online maritime trackers, including Vessel Finder. Here comes Gog, man. You know. Lucky, forgive me. A Navy P-8 Poseidon surveillance surveillance aircraft was also spotted in the region. The Russian flotilla, which includes the frigate Admiral Gorshkov, tanker Academic Pashin, a rescue rescue a tug Nikolai. Chiker and nuclear power submarine Kazan is expected to make a port visit to Havana Wednesday through Monday. All right, these ships are here to stay, man. Okay, this isn't just a visit, they're here to dock. Okay, Russia's getting ready to level this goddamn place called America. All right, which is the which is well, it has many code names. All right, the virgin daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great, Nineveh. All right, Sodom, Egypt. Okay, this place is about to be destroyed. Let me get a, a quick scripture. And this is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, and verse 1. Behold, it's like, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. All right, World War Three. Okay. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly. All right, primarily Esau. All right. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, beginning with his elites, the Dukes of Edom, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Warburgs, the Gettys, the Oppenheimers, etc. All right, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. 
saith the Lord, Yahweh. Did you hear that, Nate? Did you hear that, Bishop Nate? That's the Lord's name. That's the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. And all you sincere brothers that are yoked up with the IUIC better come out. You know, come out from among them, man. Because you're being led astray. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. All right. Saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. That's the day that's coming, man. We're getting closer and closer to it. All right, continuing on. The group, the group left several Morsk, Russia, in May with plans to spend several months performing long-distance missions across the world to show the flag and ensure a naval presence in operationally important areas of the Far Ocean Zone. All right, well, this is the hindermost of the nations, America. Russia's coming over here to make a statement, and they're getting ready to, to, to blast this fucking place, man. All right, now a few more prophecies have to be fulfilled. So, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, how wish I don't even know when he's coming back. Okay, no man knoweth the day or the hour, but we know it's getting close because we can discern the signs of the times, man. Okay, this place is, you know, this place is crumbling to the ground. All right, this whole system is broken. All right, um. And Esau has been fully exposed as, as the son of perdition, all right? According to Russian state media agency TASS, Moscow's presence so close to U.S. shores comes as representatives of nearly 100 countries across the world prepared to attend this weekend's Ukraine Peace Summit in Lucerne, Switzerland. Ain't gonna be no damn peace, man. They can have all the peace summits they want. Oh, when they start crying... Peace and safety, what comes next, man? Sudden destruction. That's First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. I'm not going to get it. You can read it. We in a time of war, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is a man of war. All right, Exodus 15 and verse 3. All right. Um, Vice President Kamala Harris. <laughs> a fucking joke, man. What a damn cackling witch she is. Kamala Harris will represent the United States in lieu of President Biden. Right, because... President Biden goes anywhere. These these days he shits himself. Don't know where the fuck he is. That's that's the king of Babylon, man, whose hands are wax and feeble. He's a fucking joke, man. And two thirds of our people voted for that clown. Two thirds of you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and Israelite foreigners who are the Lord's chosen people on the earth, voted for this fucking sicko right here, sleepy creepy man. All right, his daughter outs him in a book. Okay, he 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 laid hands on his daughter, man. He's a he's a fucking pervert, and that's who you see. That's why that's why the Lord has to make y'all feel deaf by pain, all right? Because you do shit like this, you vote for a fucking scumbag like that, which they all scumbags. But all right, <clears throat> the meeting to which Russia was not invited was arranged by the Swiss and Ukrainian. Governments with the intention to develop a pathway to end the war in Ukraine. <laughs> oh, man. The Navy and Coast Guard did not immediately respond to the post request for comment. However, the Navy's second fleet, which covers the Atlantic Ocean, announced Thursday on X, formerly Twitter, that the Truxton, as well as the Coast Guard and Canadian ships, were conducting joint ops in the Atlantic. This place is out of here, man. Gog is ready. All right. The dragons of Arabia are ready. The Carmanians are ready. Moab is ready. Ishmael, you know. Gomer, they're ready. They're getting ready to come. All right. So you Israelites out there who have not done so, you better repent. Come to the Lord. You better start learning to call on the name of the Lord. Because without calling on the name of the Lord, you're going to be... Wasted over here in Babylon. All right. And feel the, feel that fire that's coming. Lord willing you is edified through the spirit. I don't want to say Shalom Amos on to the next video.